16-inch laptops are becoming more ubiquitous in 2023 thanks to the 16-10 aspect ratio larger displays. Also, working from home users are demanding flexible 2-in-1 laptops for work and play. To cover the best of both worlds, Lenovo have launched the budget-friendly Ideal Pad Flex 5 Gen 8 16-inch laptop with 12th Gen Intel and AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. Does it offer enough flexibility to win your hard-earned cash? Let's find out. The Flex 516 comes in an understated Arctic Grey colour chassis. If you want a bit of colour, there is a deep sea blue variant. The aluminium lid is quite rigid due to its thickness and edge-to-edge -edge glass reinforcement. The main chassis and keyboard deck does have a bit of flexing as it's mainly made of ABS plastic. The build quality is good considering the price point. Starting at 2.1 kilograms or 4.63 pounds, the laptop isn't particularly comfortable to hold with one hand or when used as a tablet. Tip, if you intend on using the Flex 5 as a tablet for long periods, it might be worth considering the 14 inch model instead. The tough tested durable 360 degree dual hinges are solid and sturdy when positioned in one of the four 360 modes, laptop, tent, stand and tablet. The display lid is difficult to open with one hand but keeps the screen in place for the two in one modes. To access the bottom cover, undo the nine screws and pry open the maintenance lid. Memory is soldered on so make your purchase the maximum 16 gigabyte if you can at the time of purchase. There's one M.2 2242 PCIe 3.0 x4 slot for up to one terabyte of storage. The 52.5 watt hour battery is removable as well as the Wi-Fi card. The Flex 5 has a spacious 16 inch IPS display with a WQ XGA resolution of 2560 by 1600. On paper, the display has a 16 Hz 10 point touchscreen, 100% sRGB and 400 nits brightness level. The 1610 screen is beautiful to view on with vivid colours that pop and a decent 400 nits brightness for watching in shaded areas or near a sunny window. Definitely a display panel for content consumption watching, a Marvel film on Disney Plus in tent mode or editing some Adobe Lightroom photos. Viewing angles are excellent thanks to the IPS panel. The generous 2.5K resolution gives plenty of screen estate to work on reports, essays, accounts or large spreadsheets. Tip. Go for this 2.5K model over the cheaper Full HD and lower 45% NTSC model if you can. The 10-point multi-touch panel works well with finger gestures. Touch sensitivity is excellent and response time is rapid when touching the display. There's an anti-smudge coating on the panel, minimising any dirty fingerprints left behind. As it's a glass touchscreen, it attracts static dust and is highly reflective in sunlight. The included Lenovo digital pen is powered by a single 4A battery. Thanks to its dimension, similar to a normal pen, it feels very comfortable to hold. There's a Lenovo pen settings app to allow you to customize the two pen buttons and change the pen tip sensitivity. The one downside is the lack of a top eraser feature, instead taking up one of the barrel buttons to perform this action. The supplied stylus cannot be stored inside the device, but thanks to a small adapter, it can be fixed to one of the USB A ports, although this also blocks the other ports. Yes, you can't park and charge it, but I would prefer a normal size pen to hold instead. It has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity and tilt detection. The pen is very responsive and accurate. However, when writing on the display, it makes a squeaky noise when drawing and the writing action isn't smooth on the touchscreen. It feels like there's resistance between the nib and the glass. Unfortunately, there's no way to replace the nib on the digital pen. Palm rejection is available with the digital pen. For example, where you can rest your hand on the screen while drawing on Photoshop. On the left, we have a power adapter port, a HDMI 1.4B port, USB-C 3.2 Gen 1, and a headphone microphone combo jack. On the right, we have two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, a 4-in-1 card reader, and the power button. The wireless card is a Realtek RTL8852BE, Wi-Fi 6, 11AX, 2x2, and Bluetooth 5.1. The Flex 5 worked reliably across two rooms connected to a Wi-Fi access point. Bluetooth connection to a Logitech MX Master Mouse worked consistently every day. The keyboard on the Flex 5 has good feedback when touch typing. Key travel isn't particularly deep, especially if you've used high-end business laptops like the ThinkPad Cousin or the HP Elite Books. There's a useful keypad for number crunching and two-level backlighting for working as a night owl. 
Overall, for the price range, you can happily type comfortably for long hours on this full-size keyboard. The touchpad is a good size, located slightly to the left. Finger gliding is accurate and works well. It can't compete with the glass touchpads on premium laptops, but it does the job. The integrated buttons have average feedback and not too noisy when you use them. The Flex 5 has front-facing 2W stereo speakers optimised with Adobe Audio. Sound quality is surprisingly not half bad. Fire up a Love Ballad Spotify playlist, vocals are balanced and instruments are clear. Yes, it's lacking bass, but for media consumption, most people will be satisfied. The webcam is a 1080p Full HD with privacy shutter and dual ray microphone. Video quality is good with clear colour reproduction in most indoor environments, one that you can easily use in daily Teams meetings with your family or work colleagues. This review model has an AMD Ryzen 5 7530U processor, base clock of 2GHz up to 4.5GHz. The processor is based on the Barcello Refresh family, integrating six CPU cores based on the Zen 3 microarchitecture. Default TDP is rated at 15 watts, but the Flex can consume up to 48 watts. The Ryzen 5 7530U is basically a rebadged Ryzen 5 5625U, but with a 200MHz higher single core clock, alongside 16GB of LP DDR4X 4266MHz soldered on memory, and a Samsung 512GB SSD M.2 2242 PCIe Gen 4 TLC storage drive. The Flex 5 is a good all-rounder for everyday use. Whether you work from home with office apps and teams to college work, writing notes with a pen and tablet, the AMD 7530U will even allow some content creators to work with Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom or 1080p Premiere Pro video editing partnered with a 100% sRGB display. For our performance test, we set Extreme Performance Mode in Windows and plugged the laptop into the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the Ideal Pad Flex 5 Gen 8. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 1377, CPU score of 5871, and a graphics score of 1214. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme had an overall score of 647, graphics score of 567, and CPU score of 3278. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6004. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score in multi-core of 8795 and 1437 in single core. Geekbench 6 gave a CPU score of 1843 in single core and 7060 in multi-core and 14931 in the compute benchmark. Superposition resulted in a score of 2119. The AMD Ryzen 5 7530U is just below the Intel i7-1255U and 7% below the older AMD Ryzen 7 5825U in CPU benchmarking results. In everyday use, the Flex 516 is almost silent. Even in performance mode, running a game or stress test, the single fan does a great job to keep fan noise down to 30 decibels. Occasionally, it will spike up to 42 decibels if you're playing a taxing AAA game for long periods. Using the Flex 5 when pushed, it gets a little warm, but just a little warm, not overly hot. It gets up to 43 Celsius or 109 Fahrenheit on the top left chassis when stress testing or running heavy programs. The bottom gets warm to the touch when gaming or processor intensive tasks. In battery mode, the multi-core performance dropped by around 50%. Definitely want to plug in the mains if you require full performance for your workflow. As the CPU is a rebranded Ryzen 5 5625U, the graphics chip is the old iGPU AMD Radeon RX Vega 7 GPU, or AMD like to call it Radeon Graphics. The GPU has 7 CUs and is clocked at up to 1800MHz. Gaming presents the same limitations due to the older GPU architecture used. Heavy hitters like Cyberpunk 2077 play at a low 19 frames per second in low settings. Less intensive games like Apex Legends play at 25 frames per second in medium settings. Older games like Grand Theft Auto V will happily play at medium settings. One laptop to play occasional games on. It'd be advisable to focus on older or less demanding titles. The battery inside the Flex 5 is a free cell 52.5 watt hour removable battery. On balanced power mode at full brightness, I manage 7 hours of video playback. General usage like edge tabs open, office apps with the brightness at 50%, I manage 9 hours or more. Good for a full day's work or college. On maximum load, expect just over an hour of battery life. The 65 watt power adapter supports rapid charging technology. A complete charge takes just over one and a half hours. Manage zero to 40% in 30 minutes. 
The Ideal Pad has several security tools to keep your data safe. A typical fingerprint reader that works accurately and rapidly, a webcam privacy shutter to keep out prying eyes, and a TPM 2.0 security encryption chip. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Value for money. The Flex 5 offers a lot of features at an aggressive price tag when I grabbed one on sale for 533 plus taxes. Two in one features wrapped around a 2.5K 16 inch screen, decent performance, battery life, and included stylus pen. Decent display. The 16 inch 2.5K touchscreen is an absolute joy to use. 100% sRGB gives a color accurate display for editing images and plenty of viewing space thanks to the 1610 aspect ratio. There's also the bonus of a touchscreen and stylus. However, the weakness with the glass panel is the reflective display. Good webcam. Unusually, the 1080p webcam on the Flex 5 is pretty decent. It's not perfect, but video is sharp, color accuracy is good, and adapts well to lighting conditions. Good laptop if you video conference a lot, aka working from home. Soldered memory. Typical of slim laptops, the memory on the Flex 516 is soldered on so it can't be upgraded. Make sure you purchase the 16GB model if you can. Too big. The 16-inch Flex 5 is great for most 2-in-1 modes like the 2.5K resolution for work and watching catch-up TV. There's plenty of space for editing images too. However, it is heavy to move around. Holding it as a tablet is uncomfortable for long periods, and due to its dimensions you need a deep desk. No USB 4. Hard to argue at this price point, but a USB 4 port would have helped content creators using the Flex 5 with faster data transfer speeds. Alternatively, a lower USB-C port would have been welcome. Built quality. Lenovo have kept the price down on the Flex 5 with average built quality on the chassis. The dual hinges are okay when you're moving between two and one modes, but in stand mode, the display wobbles too much when you're using the stylus or pressing the touchscreen with your fingers. If you were in the market for a budget-friendly two and one laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. HP NV X360 15EY 0001NA. Asus ZenBook 14 Flip OLED, Acer Spin 5 AMD, Dell Inspiron 16 2-in-1, MSI Summit E16 Flip Evo. The Lenovo Ideal Pad Flex 5 16 is a feature-rich 2-in-1 at a budget-friendly price tag. The AMD Ryzen 5 7530U, even though it's a renamed Ryzen 5625U, is a solid performer for most general work tasks, and battery life is not too shabby, with the full day away from the mains. It will even manage some Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, but only lightweight tasks. The 2.5K 16-inch screen is gorgeous and the star of the show, pop-out colours and lovely viewing angles. Great for content consumption, Photoshop or Lightroom work. The touchscreen is a tad reflective if it's near a strong light source, but with the flexibility of the two in one hinges and the included digital pen, you can happily write down notes or light drawing tasks on Photoshop. If you don't tend to move the Flex 516 too much, the dimensions and weight won't be a problem. Otherwise, consider the system model, the Flex 514 inch. If you look at the price tag of £533 or $671, especially if you can grab one at one of the many weekly Lenovo offers, nothing comes close to the features included with the Flex 516. Overall, the Lenovo IdealPad Flex 516 is a large tomb one that is a jack of all trades, offering fun and flexibility in a great package. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo IdealPad Flex 516 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.